COVID cases surge across the country. There is a renewed push from health experts calling on people to quit smoking. Channel 3's Caitlin Nuclo has more on why the time is now in today's Wellness Wednesday report. As millions around the country battle COVID-19, Matt Myers with Tobacco Free Kids says there has never been a better time for smokers to curb their cigarettes. We face a time sensitive and urgent crisis. Many smokers don't realize, and most e-cigarette users don't realize, that their use of these products during COVID-19 puts them at greater risk for the more severe consequences. That's because the American Medical Association says smoking increases your risk for respiratory infections and weakens your immune system. And the CDC recently warned that being a smoker increases the risk of severe illness from COVID-19. So Dr. Susan Bailey with the American Medical Association says as many are looking to stay healthy right now, it is critical to get the word out about this. People are paying attention right now because of COVID-19. They're wanting to do everything they can to protect their health. Um, we've talked about wearing masks, washing hands, physical distancing, but we realize that if you smoke or vape, that that needs to be a part of your COVID prevention plan too. Awareness campaigns like this have worked in the past. Myers says 20 years ago, over 35% of high school students smoked cigarettes. Now in Connecticut, it is under 5%. But there is still a concern about the younger generation and vaping. A recent study out of Stanford University has shown that kids and adolescents who vape uh, are also at greater risk. And so uh, we realize that the harmful vapors that are in e-cigarettes um, can set you up to get COVID-19. Um, plus, their nicotine content is so high, you become addicted very, very quickly. All hands on deck crisis. Um, and we all have a role to play. Parents need to be talking to their kids. We as public policy leaders need to be thinking about things that can make a big difference. For example, in Connecticut, last year there was, this year there was a proposal to ban the sale of flavored e-cigarettes and, and menthol cigarettes. That would make an enormous difference. So if you or someone you know is looking to quit, there are resources available and we have a link on the Channel 3 app. That's your Wellness Wednesday report. I'm Caitlin Nuclo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.